Okay, you guys, today we are talking about Humble. Um, so let's go over some uh, good stuff about it. Now, the CEO just retired $93 million, in, or 93 million shares at a price of $1.14 per share. And so that's just him giving the shares, just burning them, setting them afire like they don't exist anymore. Um, and, you know, that's, that's really interesting. You know, it shows his commitment to the company. Um, now, the, the stock itself, it, you know, it's been kind of uh, not doing uh, all that great. The year high was 684. Now it's back down to $1.02. Um, you know, but that, that's what happens, you know, when you do a reverse stock split, it hurts the stock. And um, so now what, is, what does Humble do? Now, Humble provides merchant services and software that is being developed to accommodate the migration by governments to digital forms of their national currency as well as key functions like cross-border remittance, foreign exchange, bill payment, and lending products um, from smartphones. So they also do, you know, they, you know, I can get personal loans and uh, credit cards from them and everything. And they, look, their offices here, take a look at, they do have an office, they have four offices, one in San Diego at 600 B Street. That's a, you know, that's a very popular building to be in there. And a lot of established companies are in that building. And then they have offices in Tijuana, Singapore, and Miami. Um, take a look also here, you know, and they're already making, you know, transactions. People are adopting the payment system and using Humble as a merchant. And they're, look at this, you guys, they're offering 1.75% for merchant transactions. That, that, that's a huge saving off of what merchants currently get. Merchants are paying anywhere from, you know, you know, probably a little above 2% unless, you know, if you're at 2%, you're, you're a massive, massive company like Chipotle or some shit, excuse me. But I mean, if you're, you know, most of these companies are paying two and a half to three and a quarter percent, even if you're a mobile app, even up to 5% for these transactions, you guys, it's ridiculous. So the, you know, as a merchant, they are, they have a very, you know, big advantage. Um, so you take a look also here, um, their web traffic, this, this chart is pretty bad because it's kind of got an adverse, uh, it, it's positioned inversely. Um, and these are page views per million. So they, they have, in some of these, um, certain of these topics, they have 2 billion in page views. So that you guys, that's really interesting. Um, but okay, you guys, so this time I am going to do a, a price target. I usually don't do this, but this is kind of what I see going on with the stock. Um, unfortunately, there's been a, you know, a pretty, it hasn't been doing much. It's been a decline from when I paid for it. I bought it at $1.70. Um, but I kind of foresee that, now I'm not selling it, I'm keeping it. But unfortunately, I kind of foresee increasing, or not increasing, but further reverse stock splits. That's part of why you see, you know, Brian Foote retiring 93 million of his own shares, probably a fraction of, of what he's got actually got. but. You're going to be, you guys, if you buy now, you're going to be retiring some of your shares in the future too. So I'm, I'm seeing more four for one reverse stock splits as they attempt to get on the NASDAQ. Now they will get on the NASDAQ, I believe. So over the long run, I think it's a really good, really good buy and I'm not selling my stock. Um, it's just, I, I kind of foresee a decline in the price over the next, you know, couple of months. I hope I'm wrong, um, but I kind of foresee it going down a little bit. And then I also foresee that um, that the you know that the company is going to do well in the long term. Now this is just it's another long term hold of mine. So you know the stocks that I generally talk about are long term holds, and they're you know you just bet on them and you know hope it goes. The content is for informational purposes only. You should not construe any such information or other material as legal, tax, investment, financial, or other advice. Nothing contained in our site constitutes, or nothing contained in this website constitutes a solicitation, recommendation, endorsement, or offer uh, by me or anyone else to buy or sell any securities or other financial instruments uh, mentioned in here and in any other jurisdiction in which such solicitation or offer would uh, be unlawful under the securities laws of such jurisdiction.